Italian and English are both subject-verb languages, meaning that in a sentence, usually the subject, that can be a pronoun or a noun, comes first, the verb second. Let me give you a few examples. I talk. So I comes before the verb talk. Same thing happens in Italian. Io parlo. So the pronoun io, I, comes before the verb parlo. Marco studia. Marco studies. The subject, in this case, is a proper noun. Marco comes first. In English, is the same. Marco studies. Il professore insegna. So, professore, professor, is the subject and comes before the verb. Italian insegna and in English teaches. Last example. La casa è grande. The house is big. Again, the subject casa, house, comes first and the verb è, is, come after the subject. Keep in mind that the subject pronouns io, tu, lui, lei, noi, voi, and loro are often dropped because the conjugated verb makes the subject clear. For example, instead of io parlo, you can, and Italians do, omit the subject pronoun io, since parlo is already conjugated to show that the subject it is and can only be io equal I. Unlike English, Italian generally keeps the same order, subjects, verb, even in questions, simply adding a question mark at the end. For example, if you want to transform the statement la casa è grande into a question, you do not change the order of the words as you do in English, but simply add a question mark and change the voice intonation. So, it will be la casa è grande. Having said that, Italian, unlike English, tends to reverse the order subject verb when emphasis is desired. Let me give you a couple of examples. Today, you clean the room. In Italian, you would say this since you want to mark that it's not my turn, but it's your turn that you have to clean the room. So in this case, instead of to say, oggi tu pulisci la stanza, you would say, oggi pulisci tu la stanza, because you want to mark no, that is your turn. So every time you want to add emphasis to a, a phrase, you can change the order, and so put the subject after the verb. This is uh, the case um, of verbs such as offrire, pagare, that always convey some emphasis when they mean to treat someone to something. Today I treat you to coffee. Tomorrow you pay. You say, oggi offro io. So you put io after offro. Domani paghi tu. So you put tu, the subject, after the verb paghi.